here with your weekly tarot card reading for November 19th, 2018 through November 26, 2018. And so this week's astral, I'm a little late posting this video. Sorry, I'm late recording it. My apologies. The astrology news for this week is that Venus has gone direct as of last Friday the 16th. And at the same time, though, Mercury went retrograde. So sorry. It's a little different from last year. Last year I posted um, a video and said, uh, do not purchase anything online for Christmas the week before Christmas up until the 21st. I believe it went direct on the 21st last year. So it's different because this year it starts in November and goes until December 6th. Um, and so last year when I warned everyone you know, don't buy any online Christmas gifts last minute. Sure enough, on next door around here, there was a big uh, package delivery mishap. The postal service, postal delivery people could not get the right packages to the correct houses, and everyone was pissed off. So, it's a little different this year in I wouldn't order anything online right now if you need it in a hurry. Um, it's okay to order something online now if you need it by Christmas or the week before, but just make sure that you pay extra for the expedited shipping and the tracking number and always keep track of it so that you know where it is. If there is a problem, you will know it early and you need to address it early. If it doesn't get resolved right away, you're going to have to reorder it or go buy it somewhere else if you absolutely have to have it, you know, in time for Christmas. Some people exchange gifts early, etc. All right, so just be on the lookout for that. Um, what else do we have going on here? So um, Mercury is retrograde in Sagittarius, and there is some sort of planetary aspect that is going to affect communication devices. Um, and the astrologers are saying that this is a time where you could lose your phone, you could lose your car keys, you know, absent-minded leave it somewhere and forget it and lose it for a long time or you could drop your phone and smash it or you could drop your phone in the toilet so just keep all that in mind be very careful out there and be extra cautious and mindful of what you're doing with your phone and your car keys okay so the cards this week monday tuesday conflict and defeat we've had this many times before Conflict and defeat says walk away from all arguments. It's not going to do, do any good to engage. Um, in the past, we've pulled the card stand up for yourself. This is the opposite of stand up for yourself. This means disengage. So do not argue with this person, but rather make an excuse. You can't talk to him about it right now. You're so sorry. You're going to have to talk tomorrow or the next day, whenever you have time. Okay. Positive movement forward is the card for midweek, Wednesday, Thursday, and this is Thanksgiving. So this is a very creative card. Um, creative minds joined together. So you may have a good time with family and friends. Sort of reminiscing about times past, but also some creative minds could come together and you could come up with a business idea. Um, so... Just think about that. Or you could do something creative for the this coming up Thanksgiving holiday. You could do some artwork with somebody that you like, okay? It's a good, fun time. All right, and the card for the weekend is light, and I love this card. It says prosperity and bliss are assured. So this is great for early Christmas shopping um, or just having a good time in general. You could meet someone that brings you new opportunities, all right? And this doesn't happen all the time, but it's happening a lot lately. I was guided to pull a fourth card, the energy of the week, and it is luck, 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 luck. Destiny is a wheel of fortune. It's the luckiest card in this whole deck. You should take some risks, but calculated risks. Now, don't go overboard. All right, and for the this week's exotic tarot, in addition to the cards I've already pulled, I'm pulling from the Lover's deck. I haven't pulled from this deck on these videos before, but I've had this deck for quite some time. And it's very elaborate. I love it. Um, but it's specifically for lovers, but just 
hang in there single people because there's a message in here for you too all right don't get impatient the first card i pulled was the empress so and as you can see the empress is pregnant and um, I've never noticed this in any tarot book before, but the Empress falls before the Emperor. So go figure. That's all I'm going to say about that. You get my drift. And so what the Empress signifies is fertility, uh, but also making love, having a good time, and abundance. So... This is a message that there's some abundance coming for you in your future and into the next year. And we did pull the Wheel of Fortune card, so you've got that going on for you too. And then the final one in the Lover's Deck is Judgment. And both of these cards were face up, by the way, so that's not a challenge. You don't read those cards challenged in this deck. You read them as a gift. So the gift for the Judgment card is that those of you that are in a relationship, your relationship is has been renewed, um, and you're also, there was some something in here about making love, which also the Empress rules. All right, so for those of you that had a hard time during Venus retrograde, you know, perhaps your relationship felt stuck or stifled, um, or perhaps you were fighting, it looks like you're going to be making up and making love, so that's good news. And then for my single people, um, the future card about judgment simply says this. You are about to experience a time of abundance in your life. Through harvesting the fruits of the past of your labors, you can expand and develop creativ creatively and materially. If you are alone, which is unlikely... Your sense of being in love with the gift is so powerful that it lights up the days and nights. Um, okay, I just made a mistake. The paragraph that I just read was actually for the Empress for my single folks. Sorry, I got that mixed up. All right, so we're reading Judgment for my single folks now for the future. You are well placed to decide exactly what you'd want now from life. You are moving towards the close of a long life cycle. And that's true for a lot of you that I read for and that I talk to every day. Much has already altered and you will be able to control and direct any future changes you desire. That's pretty powerful, isn't it? That's a message that the power's in your hands. It always was in your hands, but now you're being blessed with the knowing of it and the feeling of it, which is very important because the next step is manifestation. Once you have the feeling of it, then it begins to manifest. All right, so that's it for this week. If you would like a private reading with me, please send me a message on Facebook, um, or you can send me an email at tarotbyphone at gmail.com, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you too can get an inbox when I upload a new video. Have a great week and happy Thanksgiving, everyone.